Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Mesolite Visual. Today we're going to look at design consideration for solar powered house. Designers from various fields have shaped our culture and lifestyle habits for many years now, more so in the past centuries after the Industrial Revolution. In recent years, there has been a universal shift on how we approach design. Our planet is now reaching a point where human activities are doing more harm than good. The evidence is overwhelming and even now we are experiencing rapid changes in climate. We are faced with environmental issues with need to be addressed using human intellect. So the question is how do we factor these environmental problems on a global scale as designers? Well, the clear answer is that we need to create products that heal or does minimal harm to the earth. Sustainable design is the term used in our field. We would like to share with you how you can apply basic design principles, concepts and ideas that are eco-friendly. For this, we have created a video series of eco-friendly house design ideas. This is through collaboration with Ihome, the sponsor of this video. Ihome is a brand that advocates for sustainable home living. We began this series with a design consideration for a solar powered house what you should know and what to do when designing a house that will have solar panels. Solar technology is getting better every year and has proven to be a good green alternative. Now let's get into the design consideration for solar powered house. The first point we will cover is understanding solar power. You have to understand the fundamentals of the inner workings of solar panel system in order to provide for its installation. Solar panels are made from special photovoltaic cells. These collect the heat from the sun or the energy from the sun. Heat created by these elements is that triggers a chemical reaction in the solar cells and creates electricity. Once the photovoltaic cells have collected the heat, energy and created electricity, it is then sent through the wiring. At this point, the power is DC, what is known as direct current. The power from all the cells are merged and put into an inventor. The inventor converts DC power to AC, alternating current power. The AC power can then be used by various appliances inside the house. If your system is not connected to the grid, then you will need batteries for power storage. This power can be used later if need be. Batteries help a great deal when there is no sunshine or at night time. The next step is calculating power. The key to a successful install is knowing what power you need. To calculate the power to be used inside the house, you have to factor in the electrical devices, the lighting and number of residents. You will need an expert to get accurate measures. An electrical plan will also be essential in these calculations. After establishing how much power the house would require, you can then estimate the size and number of panels you will need. That is now you know how many panels you need for that much power. Next, you can establish the batteries to be used for the required load. Lastly, you will determine the size of the storage space that will house the inventor and the batteries. Positioning solar panels is the next step. Here you figure out the side of the roof will be mounted with solar panels. Remember the panels have to face directly where sunlight can reach them with no or minimum obstruction. In the northern hemisphere, the solar panels are best positioned to face south. If you live in the southern hemisphere, then the panels are best suited facing north. You may think that the panels are best positioned on the east or west because the sun rises from east to and sets to west. Problem is, if you put panels on either east or west, then you will get direct sunlight from for half of the day. The sun moves at an angle or arc rather. So north and south will receive direct sunlight from sunrise to sunset. This means the panels will get the maximum amount of sunlight daily and create the highest level of electricity possible. You can position solar panels on your roof with special fastening attachment to hold them secure. The mounting unit of the solar panels should attach directly to the roof structure for firm support. 
Lastly, we focus on form should follow function. One of the key concepts of solar architecture is that form should follow function. After all, solar panels are not there to look pretty well. Yes, they are pretty good looking aesthetically, but they do serve a purpose. So they need to be used in the best way possible to maximize efficiency. Solar panels are also huge slabs and they can weigh heavily on the roof. So your structure should be strong enough to hold the load without any damage of your property. The goal of solar design, therefore, is to create a roof that is built around the panels, as opposed to focusing on the roof first and then adding the panels as an afterthought. Your roof design should be in a way that it can support and give direct exposure to the panels. Most panels come in rectangular shape. Your roof should adopt the same form and cover enough area to maximize power generation. To wrap up this video, do you realize that in many of these stages of designing green buildings, you will collaborate with people from other fields to bring forth an exceptional final product? That is the nature of designing. For further insight on designing eco-friendly homes, please click on the link below to get the new book by our sponsors Ihome. The book is titled Climate Friendly Home Design Ideas for Eco-Friendly Houses. If you use our link, you will get a 20% discount. You can also follow them on Instagram at eHomeLiving. Thanks guys and please design sustainably.